Good morning, VSVers, and welcome to day four of the Bold, Sassy, and Brilliant 21 Days to Searing Hot Confidence Challenge. And today, we will be talking about bad thoughts busting, or how to identify and get rid of those negative thoughts that you're having and create a more positive experience for you. Okay, so I'll start with the basic belief that I have. One of the key beliefs I think that keeps me so positive and enthusiastic is that I control my thoughts. I control my thoughts and as a result, I control my attitude, I control the way that I show up happily and positively in the world, the way that other people react towards me, and just my overall belief in my abilities to be successful. All right, so everybody has thoughts, right? Everybody has thoughts. What I believe is that thoughts come and go, that there's a separate I than the I that I see the I that I know. So when a thought is in my head saying that I can't do it, and I can't this, and I am depressed, and I am fat, and I am something, who is the I really referring to? Because the thought is going in my mind, and the I that I know, Suze, is standing right here. I'm not thinking those thoughts, so who is thinking them? Well, the answer is your mind is thinking them, which means that your mind and the thoughts that happen in your mind are separate than the person who you are. And because of that reality, you have the power to control them, right? If you stop for a second and just let your mind go, you'll be shocked at all the thoughts that happen on their own. They happen on their own. You can stop them, you can make them bigger, you can make them smaller, you can throw them away, you can manipulate your thoughts in all sorts of ways. When I realized this when I was a little bit younger, I was so shocked and I tried it out and I saw that, hey, it's true, I can change the way that my thoughts impact me because I determine whether or not they do, how they do, and even if I entertain them. So that is what today's worksheet is about. It's about busting your bad thoughts. I'll take you through a brief process about how to identify the thoughts, how to change it so that it becomes more vivid to you, then how to replace it with a more empowering thought and create images um, that are associated with that thought to ensure that you feel positively, that the negative thought doesn't have that effect that it used to have on you. And instead, you can change it. You can change how you feel it, you can change how it sounds to you, you can change how it looks to you into something that is more empowering as a whole. All right, so um, that's pretty much it. Another tip that I wanted to give you that has to do with um, controlling how your thoughts show up in your, in your life is meditation. Meditation is evidence that you can control your thoughts. Um, I know people have a lot of difficulty with meditating. They can't keep their minds still. They can't clear their minds. They can't um, stay for sit for a long time in these positions. Here's what I advocate: forget about all of that, all those positions. Here's some easy meditations that you can try. This is the one I really, really like. Um, close your eyes and think about a star. Well, I like a five-pointed star, but you can think about any star that you like. I want you to take a deep breath. Up one point of the star. Exhale down the other point. Inhale across to the other point. Exhale down that point. You're going to continue the inhale exhale process until you have completely drawn that star in your mind. All right? You can do that as many times as you can. Uh, at, at advocate for at least five minutes. Just keep breathing in and breathing out and creating the star in your mind. Right? Breathe in, breathe out, and create the star. Now, there are other examples of this. Um, when I work with children, I use colors. Children like colors. So you can close your eyes and breathe in a color. And watch circulate in your mind's eye through your body. For example, right now I'm breathing in orange, so I can feel the orange going in through my nose, down my throat, into my chest, up to my arms, down to my abdomen, and my butt, and my legs. And then what I do is breathe in another color. Say I breathe in blue. And I can feel the blue going through my body. I cycle through that for a number of times until I end up with a white. White is my 
calming, clearing light. So that's the last light I end with, the white light, which clears my mind and relaxes me. All right, so that's my tip. You can try that. Tell me how you feel about meditation. Tell me how you feel about the bad thoughts busting. And um, let me know in the Facebook group, all right? I have a great day, you guys. And um, see you tomorrow for day five.